All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about some situation where you can use this contract. I'm gonna show you some things that you need to keep in mind when you think about, okay, hey, I can use this contract right now. So let's go to the board. What you need to keep in mind is, this is technically the contract, but what you need to keep in mind is when something happened in your area, you can take picture with your phone. The reason why is you can use those pictures to sell it to other companies. So let's say you take a picture of something that happened and another company, let's say this company, be like, hey, I want to buy those pictures. And you'll be like, okay, hey, um, okay, I want to sell those pictures. What do I need to do? What you can do is you need to transfer those rights to the company. So you need to have a contract with the company. And in a contract, you say, hey, I will transfer those rights to the company. So you create a picture, you transfer those rights. They pay you money. So they pay you money. And then you give them those rights, technically through that contract. Keep in mind, it doesn't always have to be a company. It can also be a person that wants to buy those rights. And you can give them. What you need to keep in mind is it's important to know, okay, what are the laws in my country about copyright? If you do not know that, it can be a problem because you, if you do not meet the requirements to transfer your copyright to someone else, you have a problem. So technically, you don't give them all the exclusive rights. And the most problem that people are having here is what can I ask for a picture? I can understand that. The thing is... Think about it for a second. If you do not do anything with the picture, it doesn't have any value. But if someone needs it and needs it right now, you can put a value on it and it's up to you what you're going to charge or not. And there's no right price. Let's say if you need $100 right now, ask for $100. He can say no. So no, you already have, but yes, you can always get. If it goes down, try to go up. Try to negotiate, try to look on the internet, do some research, what's the normal price. And what you can do is you can just go to Pond5 or Shutter Stocks, look on this website to get a little bit idea what you can ask for a license, an exclusive license. That's my tip for you. So most of the time when you create a picture, you can take a picture and then sell it to the company of a person. But you're asking yourself, okay, I can create a lot of pictures. Can I sell them now? How do the company knows about that? Look at those website, Pond.5 or Shutterstock. Sometimes things happen where you are or you are in a beautiful place. You have a beautiful scenery. You can create a picture of that. Some company likes it. You can create your own portfolio. You can sell it, but you need to know a contract to give them exclusive rights or some license to use the picture. If you start with this, most time it's better to start um, with this if you are in a place where there are not a lot of people or it's hard to get there. Or something special happen, something unique to your um, local area. So this is something that you need to keep in mind. And when you have this kind of situation where you need to transfer your rights, your exclusive right to someone else, or you need to give them a license for your pictures, then you need to use this contract. So. What you need to keep in mind is, if you have question about this, what you can do is just go in the link, just press on the link in the description and go on the Discord and ask me a question about it directly. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Seriously, subscribe. It's for free. And like this video. I hope you like this video. See you in the next one. Bye.